Nicholas Fagese reporting here, CNN, I report on Memphis, and um, member of the Shelby County Republican Party Outreach Committee and Shelby County Election Commission employee. How are you doing today, Mr. Mark Goins? I'm doing wonderful. How are you, Nicholas? I'm doing well. Now, could you tell the um, community what your position is with the Election Commission for people who do not know um, your title and, and your role in the government? Yes, I'm the state coordinator of elections. Absolutely. And my um, first and only question to you today, there was concern from the community, from both Democrats and Republicans that I know, that were stating that Mitt Romney's name was featured first on the ballot. My mother was the first one to um, may mention it to, to me because she's a, um, a public servant here in Memphis also. She works for a, a local school here, and she mentioned that Mitt Romney's name was first and President Barack Obama's name was second. And then I had Republicans in other states say that Mitt Romney's name was featured um, last and President Obama's name was first. So there was a lot of confusion, not just in Tennessee, but across um, the country, could you explain why, um, you know, this is going on, in, in, you know, especially in Tennessee, why Mitt Romney's name was first, and, you know, about state law and et cetera, since you are an, you are an expert here in Tennessee. Explain to young um, Tennesseans, um, you know, what's going on. Nick, I'd be happy to. The, the answer is actually fairly simple, but it is a question that we, we do get from time to time. Each state is different. The legislature... Uh, sets the uh, ballot order, as we call it, mm -hmm. and each state can have differing reasons on how they set the ballot order. Tennessee statute sets it by whoever has whoever the majority party is in Tennessee, they go first on the ballot. Minority par party goes next. If there's a minor party candidate, such as the Green Party candidate or the Constitution Party, they would go third, and then independent, the way we independent would go, would fall thereafter. Uh, the majority party is, is determined in Tennessee when you look at the, the Tennessee House of Representatives and the Tennessee Senate. You add the numbers of state representatives and state senators together, and whoever has the majority, that is the majority party. So whoever has the majority party, then their candidate will go first on the ballot. And, in fact, uh, that would be the Republican Party currently, and they, uh, they in fact, do have, the, under Tennessee state law, they have the opportunity to be the first ones on the ballot. So Mitt Romney would come first because he's a member of the Republican Party. Your your listeners will probably recall that a few years ago, uh, when President Bush was, was the president, mm -hmm. he actually was not listed first on the ballot, but was listed second. Okay. And the reason that he was listed second uh, during his presidency, actually the, the Democrats controlled, they were the majority party in Tennessee. They had the House and the Senate. And what happened, it switched in 2008. Therefore, the, the party position switched. And therefore, now the Republicans are first on the ballot. So it's really just dictated in state law. And, of course, we follow state law. And that's how the, that's how the, the law has been for a number of years, that, that party order is dictated by whoever has the majority party, or ballot order is dictated by whoever has the majority party. Well, absolutely. Well, thank you, Mr. Goins, for this special interview. And thank you for um, educating the community about Election 2012. And uh, we want to inspire everyone to vote in Election 2012. So Nicholas Pegues reporting, CNN, our reporter, Memphis. Thank you, Mr. Goins. Thank you, Nicholas. Thank you, and have a blessed day. CNN, our reporter, Memphis.